Hi there. So let's start with two questions. First is how many of you are entrepreneurs and how many of you would love to be an entrepreneur? Second is how many of you would love to live your passion? Now in today's presentation, today's video, I would love to share my personal experience of how implementing five crucial entrepreneurial skills into your passion and your life in general can help you build the life you'll always wanted. Now let's start. Well, for the past three and a half years, I've been running a music company called Timecode, a music platform. What do we do? We are filming and organizing music events at some of the most extraordinary venues and locations around the world. Our videos have inspired millions of people in more than 160 countries. Now, this is the picture of my theme. Now, uh, actually inspired by the popular 10-year challenge, I wanted to share my 10-year challenge. So, the guy uh, on the left is actually um, myself during the first year of studies, where I really pretended that I know what I'm doing with my life. And the other guy is myself for the past couple of months, truly living my passion and my dream. And in order to uh, tell you this r really interesting story, how I went from this guy to that guy, I needed to go back, back in the history when I was 19 years old and when my dream to apply for the University of Architecture has flashed away. And this is basically how I felt at that moment. So what happened? Even, the, even though I was preparing myself for like months and months before the university uh, application for the university, I decided actually to study business and to go to a uh, university of economy. Because at that time I, th I thought that studying business and going into entrepreneurial way of thinking will help me to evaluate my life and to maybe have a better perspective of where I be going uh, with my career. And so I'm coming to my first chapter and my first story, which is Isaac. And during my first year of studies, I've joined the, this beautiful uh, organization called Isaac. It's a student organization operating uh, internationally across the globe and even though it's a volunteer organization I really wanted, wanted to meet as many important people as I can so I went to almost all conferences organized by ISEC and I even managed to become a so-called alumni of ISEC organization. So this experience allowed me to meet some of the most interesting people in my life in many countries. These are some of the photos of the of the conferences. So uh, and yes, uh, during my uh, during my ISIC experience, I was also a TEDx uh, organizer in 2014. What a coincidence! So after my experience with organization finished, I left uh, with many friends, business connections, which are serving me for the very best day. This is bringing me to my very first skill, which is networking. Successful people will say that uh, your network is basically your net worth. But in order to better understand what network is, uh, we may start with Dunbar's number. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Dunbar's number is invented by anthropologist Robin Dunbar. And that is the number of the cognitive limit with how many of people, um, with how many people our brain can operate. And this is actually our cognitive capacity with how many people we can create uh, sustainable connections. So you can guess the number, but I will tell you the number is, is not exceeding 150 stable relationships. So this is actually the number of people you won't feel uh, you will feel comfortable inviting them for a drink if you happen to bump them to bump into them uh, in a bar. Now imagine that your life is a big startup, is a big company, and the number of people uh, you are operating with your stable connections are now becoming your co-workers, your colleagues, 
and I will call it your life team. So as a company is nothing more than a group of people working and networking together, I believe that we should really focus in nurturing our team and these life connections. So this is bring me this brings me to my second experience which is called Belgar banging. Now, as I was always interested in music and not only into music but in uh, music business in general, during my first year of studies, I combined these passions into one of my very first startups called Belgrade Banging. What happened? Together with my friends, we've started a music organization, which later on be became one of the best event organizations in the region with more than 100 events and 80,000 people in attendance. So on the picture, uh, you can see Milos and Ivan, who I met uh, at Belgrade Banging, my very dear friends, and their role will come up later in my life and during this, during this video. So, as being the number one organization of the region um, for, the mo for more than three years, I've learned that creativity is playing a big role in our lives. Basically, as Albert Eichner said, creativity is intelligence, having fun. So I know that most of you will say that uh, you're not creative by your nature and creativity doesn't actually necessarily mean, mean designing a video, a cover or uh, creating a painting. Creativity is willingness to create and connect the dots in a way that no one else has connected it before. Well, working in the in entertainment industry where we needed to be creative after every single event of a weekly basis has taught me this. Success is shortening the distance between creativity and execution. So my message is have deadlines, learn to discipline your creativity and put your creativity into work. This is bringing me to my second chapter. And um, third story, which is which is called Caesar. So, in order to be creative and uh, to think outside of the box, you need to have a lot of courage. In 2016, together with my friends Peter and Nicola, I co-founded a Caesar social networking startup. At that time, being a musician an economist, I found it super difficult to be in an IT industry and running an IT company. Because basically I was I didn't know anything about about coding. And uh, after uh, many months of trying uh, meeting with uh, IT community, meeting with startup uh, IT community, meeting with developers, learning actually what coding is, We've even managed to uh, want to win on a comp so we, we managed to to won on a competition and became uh, the number one IT startup of the region. This competition has launched us into one of the biggest IT startup uh, centers in Europe, which is called Ray Making Loft in Berlin. And our startup and our idea has been evaluated to a four million euros. Now, I wanted to speak about the third skill, which I learned along this way, which is courage. Basically, entrepreneurship is like jumping out of plane and building a parachute on your way down, a popular quote. So every time you face with uncertainty and every time you face with the fear, I always say with, to myself, this is the reason why people are giving up. Okay, so this specifically obstacle is the reason why people don't go further. Remember this and remember that the courage will, will, lead, will lead you to places that you haven't even imagined in your life. The picture you saw today at the beginning of this story is a sum up of my past experiences. 
I fully combined music and entrepreneurship and created a timeless memories together with my team. This photo is actually from an event when we won an award for our best conceptual music streaming platform. And do you remember these guys I've met at Belgrade Banging? Those guys are right now the other two founders of a time code. And even though I've developed all these skills mentioned before, in March 2020, I faced with a situation of extreme uncertainty. I remember when I was locking my door and I was thinking, I really don't know when and how I will be able to do what I, what I truly love and uh, uh, to be able to manifest my passion. So we had two options during the pandemic, either to sit down or to continue pursuing our dreams and to work under extreme circumstances. So during that time and that month, I've developed a skill which I called resilience. That is the ability to keep pushing forward even when it's super hard. So this is the photo of a time code in 2020, 2021. And now I have a couple of questions in order to wrap up this whole experience. And I know that uh, I'm left with one more skill which I wanted to, to, to talk to you, with you, and which is the crucial skill of all the skills mentioned before. So I wanted to ask you a couple of questions. How networking can bring you from a student organization to being a trainer of an international conference. How courage can bring you from an idea to a 4 million euros startup. How creativity can bring the club organization to a number one event company in the region. And how resilience can help you to keep pushing vision and don't give up. One word, endurance. The endurance is the ability to keep peeling those layers of your career in order to find your inner self, your gravity, and believe that there is always something greater after that obstacle that you think that you cannot overcome. There is always something greater and greater. And remember, endurance, this skill, will help you to develop the career you always wanted. And as a startup is actually an institution designed to bring something new under extreme uncertainty, aren't we all a startup ourselves and entrepreneurs of our life ourselves, building the life we wanted and creating and directing it in the, in the way we want it? We're also making decisions who should stay in our life and who should be fired. Now, dear friends, I believe that we should really consider implementing these five skills in our daily lives and in our passion and start achieving our biggest goals and dreams. Thank you.